<laughs> uh, okay, well, let's keep moving on then. Uh, Jonak Tass. Uh, Denise, 20 bucks. Thank you, Jonak. You say, Hello, Tom and Ben. I have a 40k question I wanted your opinion on. If the Emperor is still alive and wakes up, do you think he would like how things have turned out? Or do you think he would regret what he uh, helped make? I don't think he'd be happy. There's no way he'd be happy. It's I basically the opposite of what he stood for. Yeah. Um, that's kind of like the, the irony of it all. That's why it's all tragic. He'd like, he'd lose his fucking mind. He'd be like, this is like worst case scenario. Mm. Yeah. I don't think he's going to be, he's not going to be super happy. He'd be like, what the fuck have you guys been doing? Unless it was all part of the plan. Yeah, well, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Uh, I feel like the part of the plan was I'm going to plug myself in but and leave special instructions with someone on like how to look after me and then once I've like regenerated like get me out of the machine and then the guy he gave like the long list of very complicated instructions to like lost it isn't there and then he was like oh shit <laughs> isn't there a thing of uh what's his name everyone's favorite um he, there is like a special emperor's note that was given to like the fucking uh, Grey Knights or something. Oh, that's Malkador's like final instruction. Right, okay. So he founded the, the Grey Knights uh, and the Inquisition because he knew that they, they, they were like, at the end of the heresy, they were like, this is all gone tits up. Mm. Best case scenario, everything's shit. So we'll found up real ruthless authoritarian anti-chaos division um and he gave them a, like a like a secret box with an envelope in it and was like if like if everything's about to end if we're like last case scenario, like worst case scenario you've got no other choice open the box it'll tell you what to do and like no one's ever opened it because things have never got like bad enough because okay. he said like only open this if like the universe is about to be destroyed right okay um so who knows? Um, Maybe that's how you turn the emperor. They just got to turn the golden throne off and on again. Yeah, they're like, look, just unplug it. <laughs> yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to fuck around too much. But yeah, just unplug it, and then the emperor will come up and he'll sort it all out. <laughs> yeah. But until then, he needs. He just wants to lie in for as long as he can. Yeah, he really wants just to chill out for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it'll almost suddenly say, "Kill the emperor," and I'll just reincarnate. I kind of think that's the case. I think he. I like the idea that he has to die and then he becomes a god. Well, maybe that's the long, the long con. Maybe the whole time he was like, I need to become. The only way I can save the universe is to become as powerful as the chaos gods. Mm. And so I just need billions of people to all worship me so I can accumulate enough, like, warp power. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then once, once we've got enough suffering souls praising me, then boop. Yeah, turn it off and just like blammo, Ascend good to go. To yeah, become the mega god, mm. something like that. That sort of vibe. He's not Jesus. He might have been Jesus. You never know. Could be. Maybe that was a never die, oh, having god. a laugh. Yeah, those never dies. <laughs> what will they get up to next? <laughs> uh, so uh, we've got a donation from Dave. Uh, do you need thirty-six bucks? Thank you, Dave. They say, Mr. Tom, Mr. Ben, uh, I work in, as an analyst mm -hmm. and work with a guy that looks identical to Ben. Oh. Uh, you mean generic human male? Yeah, beard number three. Uh, I, I too am an analyst. Maybe, maybe it is me you've met. Wow. Uh, I accidentally started calling him Middle Slider Man. <laughs> Uh, long and short, I work doing Ben work with a Ben clone. Uh, also, I love the random chat format. Oh, holy shit, Dave. Uh, well, Dave, thank you so very much. Maybe don't call Middle Slider Man a Middle Slider Man to his face. No, I... we don't like that. <laughs> That's it's, our it's, word for it's, us. It's really hard to tell that they don't like it because of their standard human expression, but not super, super popular. Classic Lego head. Wait, uh, where's Lego head with with hair? Look, just get him one of these. Oh my god, 
<laughs> this this one. one. It's the photo of Ben. <laughs> it's just a picture of Ben. There we go. Get him that through his secret Santa. Wow. I feel like, like I got a custom <laughs> minifig made of you. It looks exactly <laughs> like you. Don't do that. That's workplace harassment. <laughs> that is absolutely horrible. <laughs> wow. AI art of Ben. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not even that. It's just a photo. It's just a photograph. Just a photo. That's from me before I grew the beard. You know, we've got to update it. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's, that's what's on my driving license. Okay, well, get like, are there good Lego beards? Probably. Somewhere. God, it's weird seeing the Lego skin tone people. Yeah. I didn't even notice, actually. Yeah. When did Lego people stop being yellow? Oh, I hate that Avatar Lego. That's kind of Uncanny Valley. The like long legs. Oh, the long <laughs> legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kind of upsetting. Not super into that at all. Wow. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's like it's Ben on the farm. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, Highland Volvo. Who needs six bucks? Need Highland Volvo. They say Ratto Gatom and Warlock Engineer Ben. Do you each have a favorite Warhammer fancy recommendation? And if Warhammer Old World is good, uh, who do you each plan to play first slash the most? Uh, Kremlo came all over our space. Warhammer fancy recommendation. Uh, my favorite, my favorite Warhammer races to play and to paint and stuff are Skaven and Elizabeth. Mm. They're both great, and I love them. Those are probably... I've got armies for both, and those will the, be the first things I try. Um, Definitely agree with Skaven. Love that. Um, oh, he means novel recommendation. Oh. Uh, there's ones that I like, but I don't know how much I'd rate them as, like, great. Yeah. Like, Felix and Gothrek was fun. Uh, I liked the Rises of the Dead book. Mm. I thought that was cool because it kind of like explored some stuff in Warhammer Fantasy you didn't really get to see. Like the pictures, there's two brothers and they go to war uh, against Chaos. They're two like Empire guys. One guy gets captured by Chaos. Mm. The other guy doesn't get captured by Chaos. And then it's their stories that are kind of parallel of how they both rise through the ranks. Like one of them is just a smart guy who just becomes an Empire sort of general. And the other dude, like, he's a slave and he gets put in the fight pits and kind of starts doing well and mm. sort of slowly going up through chaos. But you get to see a lot of just, like, what does a chaos warrior do on his day off? Mm. Um, and there's a good little, it's like... Just the Conan pain wheel. <laughs> it's the Conan pain wheel. Just a lot of misery. <laughs> right. uh, and there's a bit in there which I thought must have been, like, a fun reference the whoever wrote it had played uh, Warhammer Fantasy, where there's a bunch of these like fucking big chaos warrior lieutenant guys, mm -hmm. and a lot of them have silly magic weapons, but one of them just has like a great axe, <laughs> right. and all the people with the silly magic weapons all fucking die, <laughs> but the guy right. with the great axe just does really really well, even <laughs> yeah. though he doesn't, because one of them's like, I, my sword is like makes me a little faster than everyone else, and you're like, oh, that's the fucking striking blade or whatever that gives you plus one initiative that you yeah. buy for five points or like all those garbage common magic items yeah and oh, i like that and the great the great weapon was not only better but also cheaper yeah yeah and so <laughs> that guy who was like a bit of a pleb with the chaos warriors like <laughs> yeah. actually he did really well and that feels like fun. that had to have been a reference in mm. uh warhammer fantasy uh so we thought that that one rise of nice. the dead one i mean i've not read many fantasy books i usually Read more 40k. I do remember, and I, oh, this would have been like 25 years ago that I read this. So maybe it's not good. I don't remember very clearly, but I remember at the time really enjoying this book, The Claws of Chaos. Um, the second one was shit, but the first one was quite fun. Um, it's about this like empire swordsman, and um, he ends up getting like wrongly accused by a uh, like a witch hunter of oh. being like a heretic. And he used to like go on the run. Secret blow. Um, and it was quite fun. Felix and Gotrick. They're kind of goofy romps. Uh, I mean, it's been a long time since they've made a fantasy. 
novel, hasn't it? Because they blew it all up not that long ago. Yeah. Oh, the first Nagash book I enjoyed. Oh, I never read it. It's like Nagash origin story. Um, and where he's just like a normal human uh, in living in like ancient Egypt, Kemri, before they all turn into skelly men. So it's okay. like thousands of years before any of the other like civilized races. Um, that was actually really quite cool. Um, the fun thing about it, well, yeah, Nagash the Sorcerer, that was it. So it's, um, it's two stories told parallel, alternating chapters. One is like when he first discovers magic and like his like origin story. And the other one is he's basically already the Dark Lord trying to conquer all of Kemri. Right, okay. And you sort of get, you alternate between like oh, cool. massive, the massive battles and the like court intrigue. Because he's like the second son, his brother's the pharaoh. Right, he's like, okay. He's the, what's his name from um, Aladdin? He's like the evil vizier. Oh, okay. He was like wants, Jafar. Yeah, he wants the throne and the, and he wants to marry the queen. Mm. He's like the guy from the Mummy. <laughs> you know? Okay, Imhotep. Imhotep. Yeah. 